the dignitaries on the dais, um, the faculty of ID for Change, and my dear friends. It's my privilege to share a few words with you today. That's my perspective of ICTs uh, as an English language teacher, classroom practitioner. The impact and influence of information technology on education has created an innovative trend for learning language effectively. Computer-assisted language learning has made significant advances towards finding a solution and in changing the way of teaching. The potentiality of computer technology in teaching is enormous. The basic features of computers like speed, memory, computing, accuracy, color, graphics, animation, timing, etc. facilitate to present teaching material more colorful and attractive. To preserve the materials with many users and then by improve the learning efficiency. The computer aided teaching makes the learning enjoyable. It motivates the learners in learning, demands active participation, keeps the learners vigilant, saves the learners time and provides a better learning environment. CPD, Continuous Professional Development, has been considered the need of the heart in the light of changing scenario. The teachers should become digitally literate in order to initiate, stimulate and sustain professional development. Under digital literacy, the focus would be on networking through blogs, emails, Skyping, SMS, Twitter, Facebook, etc. When used properly, ICT, that's Information and Communication Technology, helps students to formulate and in pursuing the knowledge. The general goals set by the curriculum can be effectively achieved by the use of ICT. It suits best to the needs of the modern day communication approach. This is a recommendation made in 2005 NCF in English language teaching. Amidst the various innovative teaching techni techniques, teaching English through movies can be an integral part of e effective teaching and learning. English is much more than just spelling, grammar and punctuation. Watching film helps in developing critical comprehension and analytical skills. The use of movies arouse the interest and enthusiasm of the learners and turn their passive participation into active performance. We are working one step ahead in this aspect. The children are encouraged and taught to make documentaries, photo essays, stop motion animations. I am glad to tell you that our previous work was a documentary on plastic pollution by name 3RS. I have brought the CD. If the time permits, you can watch it. That is to promote, reduce, recycle and reuse the plastic. The photo essay was on green solutions to promote go green, to save energy, fuel, electricity, wa water, etc. We suggested the alternative way of saving energy. You can find all these movies on YouTube. All this thing was done by students, shooting pre-production, production and post-production. Editing, uploading, everything was done by a group of students. This year's project, uh, we have taken a documentary on Dagri, photo essay on school dropouts and RTE. That was an initiative of what the workshop we had on RTE. So on that, it throw a light on so many uh, our children are, you know, at the younger age they have been deputed to work, which is a really in a miserable condition. So I thought to throw light on that, I'm making a photo essay on that issue. And a stop motion animation films this year's project. Apart from this, our students have been able to make PPTs on the prescribed lessons. 
make mind mapping browse further information and collaborate with their peer group they are doing it we are trying to tie up with other schools in delhi and the schools abroad for collaborative work so as sir rightly said the process is important than the product i think we give more importance for the process how the children are dealing with all these credits should be given to ngos like it for change with a great respect and uh, the other ngo i would like to mention that is adop youth voices and the american india foundation which uh, they have provided with all the equipments so the project tcol has helped immensely in my professional development during this academic year i have built up my confidence found so many innovative methods in my classroom dragged away from just the rote learning method leading the children to actual learning of languages in a joyful manner i enjoyed the interesting thought provoking and enlightening forwards which i happily shared with my teachers of community i hope you all have enjoyed it i have uh, okay i inspire every student of my school should be comfortable in using the computers for their better learning in this aspect i request the authority to see that all the government schools to have computers with connect net connection and projector in every classroom i strongly believe that using free software is a great boon i have ex- i have shared my experiences under tcol project writing an article to shikshana varte i hope it has been reached and hope it will come through so that our teacher community will benefit a lot uh, by reading that um i wholeheartedly extend my thanks for the founder it mr guru uh, mrs uh, bindu ms kritika uh, mr sharif for being a support and guide in every step of learning throughout this project i thank you all